Will this finally be DiCaprio's year at the Oscars? Last year, despite what many felt were his best efforts to date, he didn't even land a nomination for Django Unchained. But in 2013, he has not one, but two Oscar contenders. The Academy can't ignore both, can they? The first is The Great Gatsby, which ironically was moved from its original holiday 2012 release date so as not to compete with Django Unchained. Well, now it has the weekend of May 10th all to itself, and Warner Brothers is hoping to dazzle both audiences and critics with Baz Luhrmann's 3D Razzle Dazzle. But critics were divided the last time DiCaprio and Luhrmann teamed up, and Gatsby could prove to be too commercial for Academy snobs. Also on that note, it will be hard to convince the older voting bloc to pass the silk shirt to this new pick over the Robert Redford and Mia Farrow classic. That means the better bet for DiCaprio is his fifth film with Martin Scorsese, The Wolf of Wall Street. This star-studded financial epic, based on a true story, sports a little more gravitas than Gatsby, as well as fellow Oscar nominee Jonah Hill and Oscar winner Jean Dujardin. But even here, Hill could steal DiCaprio's Oscar thunder off of the pick, as could his other co-star Matthew McConaughey, who almost earned his own nomination last year. This year, McConaughey is a genuine threat to DiCaprio for the gold, not just in the movie they're making together, but in Dallas Buyers Club, where McConaughey has noticeably lost a Christian Bale amount of weight. He tells the true story of a homophobic man in the 1980s who, when diagnosed with AIDS, sets up an underground drug ring to provide experimental treatments for the disease not approved by the FDA to fellow patients. So, who else is DiCaprio competing with for a nomination? Ryan Gosling might be a contender with his second film after Blue Valentine with Derek C. in France, The Place Beyond the Pines. Forrest Whitaker also makes another run of his own for the gold with The Butler, where he portrays Eugene Allen, the White House butler who served eight sitting presidents. Likewise, Chiwetel Ejiofer will most likely be a contender with his role in 12 Years a Slave, as might his co-star Michael Fassbender, either for that pick or his role in The Counselor, where he plays a lawyer caught up in drug trafficking. Then there's George Clooney's own star-studded historical epic Monuments Men, as well as the new David O. Russell pick, which features Bradley Cooper, Christian Bale, and Jeremy Renner. Expect at least one of them to get a nomination. And Benedict Cumberbatch will also enter the Oscar race for the first time, as he plays Julian Assange in The Fifth Estate. Finally, Oscar heavyweight Tom Hanks is even back in the game with his own two picks in contention. He'll play Walt Disney himself in Saving Mr. Banks, as well as the lead role in Captain Phillips, which tells the true story of the first American cargo ship to be hijacked by Somali pirates in 200 years. So, do you like Leonardo DiCaprio's Oscar chances this year? And if not, what's it going to take? My guess is if he gets snubbed again, he might want to consider flicks with smaller budgets. The Academy likes to see their actors humbled, and uh, I wouldn't call that humble. Awesome, but not humble. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.